Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 6th of May 1983, West Germany's federal archives revealed that forensic tests proved the Hitler diaries were forgeries. In the final days of the Second World War, an aeroplane carrying some of Hitler's closest staff members crashed near the German border with Czechoslovakia. Hitler's personal valet, Sergeant Wilhelm Arndt, was killed and the personal effects he was carrying on behalf of the Fuhrer were lost. On hearing of the crash, Hitler allegedly exclaimed that in that plane were all my private archives that I had intended as a testament to posterity. It is a catastrophe. Journalist Robert Harris later described this possibility of lost documents belonging to Hitler as providing the perfect scenario for forgery. A number of years after the plane crash, a series of diaries purporting to be the lost journals of Adolf Hitler were forged by Konrad Kujau. Posing as a Stuttgart antiques dealer, he successfully struck a deal with journalist Gerd Heidemann, who had convinced his bosses at the newspaper Stern to buy the diaries. They eventually went on to hand over 9.9 million Deutschmarks for 62 volumes, yet sold the serial rights to other publications. Authenticity of the diaries was originally confirmed by historians including the respected Hugh Trevor Roper and Gerhard Weinberg, but they both grew more sceptical as the April 1983 publication date approached. The newspaper subsequently submitted three volumes of the diaries to the Bundesarchive for forensic examination. Initial tests highlighted both textual inconsistencies and the presence of materials that didn't exist until a decade after the diary's alleged creation. More volumes were consequently submitted for further tests, and on the 6th of May, the government formally announced that they were forgeries. Kuyao was later arrested and imprisoned, while the journalist, Heidemann, was found to have skimmed money from Stern's payments, for which he too was sent to jail. Thank you.